This video is brought to you by myvayteaching.com. Hello friends. Now we will discuss about the equivalent rational number. We know that this is the rational number. If we multiply by 2 by 2 that means denominator and numerator and numerator by multiply by 2 by 2 then it gives minus 2 by 4 so this is the equivalent rational number if you want multiply by 1 by 2 into 3 by 3 then it gives also equivalent so 1 by 2 same here we can write minus 3 by 6 okay and same if you multiply by 4 by 4 5 by 5 these are uh, equivalent uh, rational number also keep in mind when you multiply minus minus it gives plus like if I'll say 1 by 2 multiply by this 1 2 by 2 it gives 2 by 4 minus minus it gives the positive sign and I'm not talking about the equivalent if we are talking about the equivalent then it's minus minus in the both sides minus 2 minus 2 then again it gives minus because for, for this so but keep in mind if we are talking about because in later video you will see that minus 1 by 2 if multiply by minus 2 by 2 then it gives positive 2 okay. if we multiply plus minus it gives minus we minus plus minus then plus 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 already you have gone through th through the fractions these details just for the understanding we have again explain you so when you multiply by minus minus it gives positive pos uh, positive minus it gives minus minus positive is minus positive positive it's positive now we are talking about the positive and negative rational number so 3 by 8 5 by 7 1 by 2 2 by 9 these are the positive rational number why is positive rational number because integers are positive now if you are talking about minus 3 by 5 minus 5 by 7 minus 3 by 8 minus 9 by 5 minus 1 by 2 these are the negative integers now one of my student asked if 3 minus 5 what is the positive or negative because if it's minus 3 by 5 normally we are writing 3 minus 5 if you multiply by minus 1 by minus 1 what minus minus it comes 5 minus plus minus so 3 by 5 so minus 3 5 is it negative hope you understood because I already explained if you multiply minus minus it comes positive plus minus plus minus minus so minus so it comes minus 3 by 5 this is a negative rational number okay now we will study about the rational numbers on a number line
we know this is the number line if 0 1 2 3 then minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and minus 4 if we are talking about the rational number if this is if we say 1 by 2 or 2 by 2 3 by 2 and similarly here 1 by minus 2 minus 2 by 2 minus 3 by sorry minus 3 by 2 and minus 4 by 2 so these are the rational numbers so rational numbers on a number line what we say rational number on number line if someone says can you can you mark my uh, 3 by 2 on the number line so this is the minus 3 by 2 is the line similarly minus 3 by 2 is on the number line this is the minus 3 by 2 is the number line so these are the rational number on the number line so it may be minus 1 by 3 you can put if if you want 1 by 4 here okay then it's 2 by 4 maybe you can put 3 by 4 and 4 by 4 but all are equivalent because it should be the same 1 by 4 2 by 4 is the same distance so it should be the same distance Three, it should come 3 by 4 here and then here 4 by 4 and then 5 by 4 and then either 6 by 4 so similarly we can change from here so this is the rational number on the on the number line now there is another form we see that standard form what is the standard form if we say 1 by 2 what is the common factor in the numerator and denominator is only 1 so this is the standard form this is the standard form if i'll say 2 by 4 if the common factor is 1 and 2 if we can divide it by 2 by 2 then it comes 1 by 2 so this is the standard form so it means that the numerator and denominator should have only common factor 1 again I'll take one more example 3 by 2 see the in between numerator and denominator there is a common factor is 1 so this is the standard if I'll say 6 by 4 then common factors 6 and 4 is 1 and 2 then because then we remove this 2 to remove this 2 and keep only uh, common factor is 1 so we divided by 2 by 2 so it comes 3 by 2 so again this is the standard form of rational number and this this is additional this is a highest common factor so we have to find numerator and denominator what is the highest common factor at cf and then we can divide by scf then it will come standard form of the rational number the next video we will take some more example to understand the standard term of the rational number.